Welcome to our fifth episode of Antibiotic Answers, where we take your antibiotic questions and give short, guideline-based answers while focusing on using antibiotics appropriately and preventing resistance. This episode is about septobiprol, which goes by the brand name Zevterra. The first question is, what is septobiprol and what bacteria does it cover? It's a fifth generation cephalosporin that was approved in April 2024 in the U.S. for Staph aureus bacteremia and acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections in adults, as well as community acquired bacterial pneumonia in adults and pediatrics. In other countries, it's generally approved for community and hospital acquired pneumonia, but not ventilator associated pneumonia. The table on the right shows what bacteria it covers and does not cover. It does cover staph, including MRSA, strep, including penicillin-resistant types, E. fecalis, H. influenzae, MCAT, many enterobacteriales, and pseudomonas. It has no or limited coverage for E. facium, A. bominii, B. cepacea complex, Stenotrophomonas, proteus, and most gram-negative anaerobes. So we don't want to use septobiprol for these bacteria. The next question is, what are dosing considerations for septobiprol? The typical dosing is 500 mg IV every eight hours over a two hour infusion, and it's supplied as a powder for reconstitution in a single dose vial as pictured on the right. It is primarily excreted via the kidneys, so there are dose adjustments for impaired renal function, specifically when creatinine clearance is less than 50 in patients with end-stage renal disease or for those undergoing intermittent hemodialysis. So what is the safety profile of septobiprol? The most common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, altered taste, an infusion site, and hypersensitivity reactions. Cautions include increased mortality in ventilator-associated bacterial pneumonia, which is an unapproved use, seizures or other CNS reactions, or C. diff. It should be avoided in known hypersensitivity to septobiprol or other cephalosporins. Overall, it seems to be generally well tolerated and it also has a low potential for drug-drug interactions. For our last question, what are the key highlights for septobiprol? It's a newly approved broad spectrum cephalosporin that is generally well tolerated Unlike most other cephalosporins, it has activity against MRSA and pseudomonas, which makes it a good empiric treatment option in more complicated cases of community-acquired pneumonia, for example. And finally, future research will explore new potential indications for septobiprol. Thank you for listening. If you have a question you would like answered, please email it to emily.perry at ndsu.edu.